Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Welcome to Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals, the one and only, the Risk Meta Settings. And I'll be the yellow player today. In the last position, we have a lot of troops up near Russia, but I could easily see somebody go with a Kharkiv cap, which would be kind of hilarious if I cap on Russia. And I kind of want to cap on Russia because I have a four there. I mean, I've got the three up here guarding. It's kind of not bad for trying to hold it. Obviously, somebody could later come into Kharkiv and block me break it so i never get it but i kind of like it uh purple player reason co2 with the istanbul cap i'm going to be playing progressive capitals on europe advanced we have expert ai fog and blizzards on no alliances and no portals if you're a regular of the channel you know these are the most popular settings in online risk for a bounty of reasons but most importantly the blizzards create quite interesting layout usually like, what, what's going on here around Russia and Eastern Europe is quite choked up. Now, the Rhine Blizzard cutting off uh, Germany from itself, or uh, from Denmark. Like, right here, this bonus, it's a plus five, it's cut off from itself. But it also means if somebody has a London cap or a Ruskiala cap, that's a two-point guard on this entire upper bonus. Also, my Russia cap actually contributes to that, right? So this Russia, if I cap on it, and this London cap, if I can yoink it, would be an epic two-point hold on a, this whole top section. Now, we don't know what's going on. We know for sure that if somebody caps in Kharkiv, we're going to cry. But we don't care. We're capping here anyways. And I'm playing and I'll fight them to the death. I don't care. I'm last in turn order. I get the most amount of troops to start the game. I get the biggest trades when the trades come in. So if someone's in Kharkiv, we will destroy them. Unless purple comes up and gets a Orient really easily and makes me taste it. And then I'm sad. But hopefully not. Hopefully not. I did think about, obviously, Hungary's not a bad cap. You get this bonus the first turn. No problems for there. And I did definitely consider that. And I might still go for that middle bonus if nobody's taking it by the time I... Like, if it gets to me and nobody's taking the middle bonus, I might go for it. Now, Red's probably going to take this bonus, though. He know Red knows where my cap is, so if I take this middle bonus and Red has here, Red might specifically go into me. But I also, like... Red's cap is far from this bonus, too. So would he? Or is he going to put his concentration down here going for Africa? So Purple's going for Orient. We don't know where White is. We'll find out where blue is, maybe. We don't know what's going on in the noob corner situation. We'll know who takes the noob corner when we see who takes Finland, right? Then we know they've got the skin. Whoever's in Scandi is coming for Finland, so. We are praying nobody's in Kharkiv. If nobody's in Kharkiv, we get Russia turn one, and that will be a sick game. Blue's going to take this middle bonus right away. That's okay. I don't mind that. That's not a bad play at all. Maybe he's got an Alps cap or a Bavari cap, something over here. He's like, I'll take this. That's fine. Knight, that makes it much more easy for me to just decide to fully go into Russia. Yeah, if I hold Russia from turn one, it will be like a two point here. I'll, I'll buff these two points up and then just start really sending through the top if I can. And then I'll try to kill whoever's got the London. Somebody, most people that have London cap in London. It's very frequent. Or could be a Scotland cap. There could be an Oslo cap. A Scotland cap would be kind of cool with the way uh, the Iceland is cut off. There might be a couple caps in here. Sometimes people will cap in like London, then another person will cap in Scotland, or someone will take Scotland, but then somebody will cap back here to trap this. <laughs> like stupid stuff like that could definitely happen. So far, so good because blue, white, and purple. Nobody came from Kharkiv through Moscow to hit me. We know red's down here. I think there's a decent chance. There, there's a there is a chance that there's nobody in Kharkiv with a capital. So if that is the case, we do get eight troops on the first turn. I can make a 15 here. I hit the red two first to see what's here. Red's going two here, five. He doesn't even worry about this middle bonus. Doesn't even care. He's like, I'm not taking any bonuses that are far from my capital. And props. That's not a bad idea. Sometimes you can get away with it, but also sometimes it can cost you. He does this, uh, brings the three to the two, goes for this. Oh. Well, maybe that pink rolled the two on one, so red can maybe take this with perfect dice of some court, some sort, but I'm excited for my turn. That's a fortify. That means there's no cap here. Oh, mama. That is a guaranteed turn one Russia. As soon as I saw the red fortify there, I'm like, that's locked in. Okay. Uh-huh. That we will do. I'll bring this two out of Red's bonus to help him. He brought a two out of my bonus. I'll bring a two out of his bonus. That's fine. That one little friendly move to another little friendly move. I didn't have to reciprocate. 
thanks and a thanks. Yeah, yeah, see? That's just a little small signal I sent to Red, make him happy, leave the three here. Purple's gonna try to take Orient, but here's the other thing. Do I wanna destroy Noob Corner and try to take the London or, or uh, uh, Scotland caps or Oslo or wherever these caps are? Or do I wanna send into Purple and take his Istanbul cap? The downside about sending into Purple is if he bots and it rolls off the cap, White, blue, pink, and red. Everybody gets a chance to take advantage of him uh, before me, right? Like, turn order, I, like if you're going to bully someone out of the game, you want to bully the person, one of the people, like, right before you in turn order. Because if they quit or if they suicide slam you and then leave or anything like that, you're the one that goes next so you could take advantage of whatever they just mayhem they just caused, right? If their cap's available, if there's a bonus available, if, there's, if their cards are available. So generally, you do want to focus the people before you in turn order. So like I could, like positionally, bu bullying purple is interesting, but he can go Istanbul to Bulgaria, Romania, Kiev, and break me in Kharkiv. He can break me back. Whereas we don't know where pink's cap is, but if pink's destroyed and I can come through the top, blue gets 11, so he's got this plus four and two capitals? What does he have? Or just a lot of territory. He's going for Eastern Europe? I don't think so, Doug. I don't think I want to let you have Eastern Europe. That's crazy. Wow. He got... Man. He gets 11 a turn. For him to... For me to break his Eastern Europe, though... He's going to go for this as well. Dude, that's such a position. White still had its cap, but he just bought it. So white had his cap. He still bought it. What did purple start with? Turn two, six. So he's got 12 territories in his cap. Red is being shocked. Yeah, because blue is greeting in the middle of the board like an insane lunatic. I need to go through the top and buff my cap. I'm hopeful blue doesn't break me. I don't think I can afford to fight blue. I like I want to break what blue has, but the problem I have is purple might have taken Orient and might come into me with a big stack. Purple doesn't know my caps here. So if I run into a purple because blue's in the front of him and instead of going through Africa, he comes into Russia... That's destroying. And if I send into blue and make an enemy out of blue and then he still starts with 10 or 11 troops and retakes and comes through the top and purple's in here and I have nothing on my cap, I'm pretty toast. Uh, pink started with eight. So he has... He has Scandinavia. Red's going to knock Africa. So if pink's got Scandi, that's going to be interesting as well. Red leaves my two here. I get 12 troops. How do I deal with this? Nobody's broken blue. Purple might. If I don't hit purple, purple might break blue. So I go through the top or what? Then I go looking this way, pretending I don't know what's going on. Okay. Is there no pink cap here? Okay. Send a fist bump. Leave that as a two. I don't think Pink's going to be happy with that. I just yoinked his entire bonus and then I fist bumped him. Cyber Steven from France. Maybe he rolls over. He's got the French flag. People tell me France surrenders. So I don't know much about history, but that's what Twitch chat says. So maybe I can expect France to surrender here. We'll see. Uh, reason started with five, white started with five, and is a bot, so. Wait, if pink is here with a cap and got eight and had Scandi, he never took Iceland or British Empire. That means the drama in here is uh, purple and white are probably both also capped here in some stupid way. Which would explain why blue's uncontested in the middle. Purple, white, and pink in stupid triple fashion capping here. Then purple in the bottom right, red in the bottom left, and me in the top right. Did I just do the numbers wrong? Purple's in the right. So just, sorry, just white and pink up here. Purple's in Istanbul. He's going for this. Purple actually didn't have the orient, so I'm glad I didn't go into it. Blue gets 24 troops this turn. Oh, I called it. 24. I, I called it. He took two massive bonuses there. He took the Eastern Europe and this, or the, like he's got pretty much everything. He's rolling something. I won't see if he gets a capital, because uh, we're still on round three. He got 24 troops on round three. 
Irksome Pug from Brazil. Big Gob from Denmark. Cyber Steven from France. Tamika Saul from Pokeball, but wrong colors. That's insane. Now, I didn't break blue here. I could have hit this too and at least broke one of his bonuses, but that's stupid. If, you, if you're going to start a war with somebody, you need to start the war hard. You don't start a war with somebody by... He gets 20 some odd troops a turn, but you stopped him from getting that extra five. It's like, ha ha, instead of getting 27, you get 22. That's not the way to do it. Yeah, I get broken. No, he goes for something else. Oh man. Is there a London cap? Dude, if Pink's cap was like, incredibly weak here, I'd love to snipe it, but I don't think I'm gonna get the chance. Where do I get cards from? I gotta go Italy or Africa for cards. Well, I can't take Africa because purple needs a direction to go. I don't want him to go into Russia. Red's going to come up into France, maybe? I Maybe I got to go through Italy to get a card? I just need cards that don't involve uh, starting a fight. Uh, me fist bumping pink also seemed to work. I'm going to hold both of these bonuses. I can make my cap strong. Okay. I'll go one, two, three, and a one, two. And what? Make this a four. Four and buff my cat. And I will roll this. And this. To give people cards. That's kind of what I want to do. Not terrible. I mean, okay. The start of the third turn, blue got 24. I got 16. The start of the turn before that, I got 12 and blue got 11. So I got eight less than him on the third turn. Like 24 is insane. And he might've taken a cap or something. Maybe I should have clicked on to see if somebody else bought it because blue was maybe potentially, yeah, blue has another cap. He got somebody's cap, it looks like. Purple starts with five. So he doesn't have Orient and he's rolling a bunch. Uh, wait, does purple have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I don't know, 15-ish. Maybe purple has 15 territories and it gave him five troops and he didn't have a cap because blue smoked the Istanbul cap. That would be interesting. That would be also very bad. Blitz to two on one up, it looked like. Uh, white bot starts with seven now. So it's got Iceland and a cap in Iceland. I wonder if his cap is actually Iceland Northeast because it just means it's going to get seven a turn and keep stacking there and pointing at Pink's face, which is funny. Or if it's Iceland Northwest or South, the cap's in the corner and the bot would be stacking, not in the corner. Blue only starts with 15 this turn. Okay, that's profitable. That's good. Pink and, uh, well, pink could break me. I don't think red, red's not breaking me. So if pink doesn't break me here, blue early trades with his 15. Wait, I'm less scared of him. He's just snowballing in the middle with nobody to stop him. But he also early traded. Now could be an opportune time to actually destroy blue. Knock his two out of the top here. Come through the middle and break all the middle. Because, okay, I can... So, Blue's bonuses are like Eastern Europe, Daenerys Alps, Central Europe, and Southeastern Europe. Now he just broke red, pissed red off or something. But I can break Central Europe from the top. I can break Eastern Europe, Southeastern Europe, and Daenerys Alps with a 1-2-3 hit without opening his cap because we had a hungry stack at the start of the game and we knew that we didn't see Blue's cap. So I can go through Romania to Hungary to break. So I, with one, two, three, four hits total, I can completely break blue. White dies. Well played. He only lost three. So I don't know how white got all, okay, he's trading. Yeah, for six, and then he's going where? He went down, so what was in Iceland? Pink started with seven. I guess pink already had Iceland. He must have taken Iceland the turn I took Scandi, or the turn before I took Scandi, and I didn't pay attention. Wait, are you, if you don't go back to this cap, yeah, you better. It's only a nine. Dude, imagine I had a trade on three and I took his cap. The downside here is I think it's actually more profitable. Profitable. I think it's better to hit blue. Although taking pink's position is kind of insane as well. But if I trade on three, I'm doing an early trade, making an enemy out of a guy that's got four cards. Hmm. I'm just going to go six. I'm going to break blue, and then I'm going to stack here hard.
And then I'll do this. Oh, red already did all the breaking. Huh. Okay, well, let's knock blue out of this corner. Okay, red already came up and hit blue a bunch. Is blue botted then? I, I'm hoping not. I hope he's not that kind of a chicken. What's purple gets 12. He's got to worry it now. I got 17. Red only got four. Wait, blue took red's cap. I needed to go in here to get blue then. Red, where did, how did red get up here? He came through the top and blue went back. Dude, what's happening? Now purple's sending and I think it's through the middle. Yeah. Into red, it looks like, or is he going to come hit this blue too? Wow, that might have actually been a great opportunity for me to go into pink. Yeah. Okay, he, he backs off. He hit a bunch of stuff, but then he backed off. Eastern Europe might be takeable for me now. We could think about it. To just make a little wall. <laughs> oh my god, blue starts with 17. Wow, red's getting fed, dude. If red has if red starts with three troops and has no trade, I'm gonna look for his kill. Right? I'll trade kill him. Trades are only eight, but I would definitely go looking for his kill. Blue might kill him now, honestly. Wait, the way he's rolling it, maybe he didn't path in the way that goes to Sardinia. Okay, he does. Red's dead. Okay. He gets the red kill into the trade. As if red's the first to die. Wow. Purple says well played, yeah. Cool. So now blue's in the bottom section instead of the middle of the map. <laughs> does he have two caps still? I'm guessing he does. Hits this, that's fine. He's gonna go up through Italy. So who else was hitting blue other than red? I, I'm guessing purple did too. <laughs> so if blue continues his fight, does he continue it into purple? We're in a four player game. Game's progressing reasonably quick. Pink starts with 12. Does he early trade? He does. Okay. I don't need to trade, but I can trade. If I wait, then purple's going to trade and blue may trade. So. Pink just took the 12. So purple would take the 15. Blue could take the 20. My first trade could be a 25 if I wait. If I take it, I get a 15. Pink seems to be rolling through the middle here. So pink's hitting blue, it looks like. That I'm okay with. I'm going to work on Eastern Europe now and probably back off a bit. Take my cap. Where would I want to stand? Lviv, Estonia, Poland. Poland's kind of got access more places. Um, something like this. I, I do want a 25 cap. Do something like this. like this. Okay. Yeah. A 2-2-2, two, 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 an 11 in the front, an 8 here as a secondary backup for Russia. I got Eastern Europe. Pink doesn't see that, so pink might not break me through the top. Pink seems to be friendly with me so far. I fist bumped him when I got here. Uh, purple's going to go left through blue. No, he goes right. Oh, maybe he's taking this bonus. Does he keep going through the blue 12? Boom! But you've got to break him. You started a war with blue here. Fist bumps. Hits his 12 and then fist bumps him? I don't know. I'm on 69 troops, by the way. Calculated. 21 for blue. Does he come through the bottom? Trades are 15. Wait. Oh, okay. Pink's 12 was the 10 with the plus 2. Does purple do a sad face? He does emote. Like, is blue hitting him or is he hitting pink? What did blue start with? 21. Like, I wouldn't mind working towards Central Europe, but I actually would rather hold for now. All right, moment of truth. Does pink break me or is he going to keep doing what he's doing? I'm on five cards and I hold all this. If he doesn't break me, I mean... Or if he does break me, I'm going to retaliate. But if he doesn't break me... This 15 cap is extremely vulnerable for me just to take. I would love to have this cap because this cap and my Russia cap are good together. If I hold all this and this is only a 15 cap, I might hit it right now. Still, I think he, so 
If he's got 12, it means he's got two caps in Noob Corner. So where's the second cap? I don't know. But I definitely am going to hit that. And then like Pink can come through the middle and break me, I guess. He's got a set on three, or he might quit. This also puts me in the position where I have kind of his kill guard. What do I get for a roll here? Please, a good one. Okay. Okay. Leave that three. Next trade's 20. Blue trades for 20, he gets 25. Come back here like this, leave the two in the front. 26 cap is safe from pink. If pink bots, or if somebody tries to kill him through the front, I have his kill guard. I could have taken out Iceland, but it wasn't worth it. Purple's still here. Chilling's taking a card. Blue and purple are taking cards here. I guess they have some kind of friendship. Blue gets 25. This is the moment where blue was fighting pink. He might be hitting the London cap. And if blue comes up and hits the London cap, because uh, I think I think it was a Scotland cap, London cap, and this corner is what pink was holding. I think blue hit the London cap just now. Could be wrong. No, he's hitting other stuff. Maybe he's rammed in wing purple. Or maybe pink came down a little bit. Pink had to come down a little bit, right? Does this go to three out of six? I think blue has two caps and I have two caps. This goes to three, I think blue hit London. And that would give me pink's kill, unless he has a set on three, which would mean he's just going to freeze. He's still here. Oh. Yep, there's, there's the three and he may move through London. So we pray pink has no set on three. Pretty sure London's a cap. That's why he split here. That was the perfect time to do it. He would have got through with a 20 and then had the 15. Please no trade on three. Yes. Doesn't even try to take a card. He does try to take a card. Dude, now I'm mad. now I'm sad that I left the three here and I didn't blitz the three on one end of the corner to give him an easy card. All right. Um, so there's a 20 cap on London. I actually can full send the London cap and hold it with Russia and London, right? I don't need to trade. It'd be the 25 trade if I did. Okay, that's a sick two point I could actually end up getting. He did try to take a fourth card to give me a fourth card. I appreciate it. All right. Who said well played? Purple did? Thanks. I think it makes perfect sense to hit that 20. And then I should I also break blue on top of that? I Probably. Blue will hate me after this. So I probably should send him as well. I get good dice. Okay, blue's only on two cards. Where's his cap? Hmm. There it is. Um, the eight's fine. That's an eight only? Dude, blue's basically killable. I wonder if purple goes for uh, blue. Did I get a... I have a trade on four. Blue having an eight cap here is weak. So wait, one, two, I have three caps. Blue has here, and the other cap was uh, Rabat. Wait, so Blue's cap was either London? No, I don't think it was London. I think it was here, and he just took the middle, and nobody contested. Purple's rolling. Yeah, well played. I'm just going to say, oh, I was going to say good game after two. Okay, if Blue doesn't set and he opens me, he only gets six. Only gets six, so he's only got one cap. He's going to break me. That's fine. He's not getting through the eight. Can I kill Blue, or is Purple kill guarding me? The eight, I put everything on the eight. He's actually manually. He really wants to get revenge on me for taking the London cap. Purple's been fighting you too, dude. <laughs> Lose at least one troop on this to go to a three, then I don't have to worry anymore. Okay. Now open me with the eight. Actually, the 36 can come out. I don't need to come off this. 36 can come out and come all the way around, but I should trade and come through the eight this way just in case. I do need to kill blue and then punch purple. Purple's only on two cards, so as long as purple can't... Uh, win this turn it's worth it to kill yeah yeah okay bought it come on come off cap come off cap yes okay now 
Now, can we, can we do this? Forty. Okay. Don't open uh, purples. Then. Okay, I should have the blue kill here. Can I get through the 38? Yes, I can. Yeah! No, I don't get the trade. I don't have the trade. Shit. Never mind, I don't get I don't have a trade here. That worked! That 4v3 worked, baby! I thought I was getting a trade, that's fine. I'm on five, he's on two. Victory! Victory! I'm sorry. Good game. He should have killed Blue. He should have been the one that kills Blue. Although he only would have got two cards. So, he runs out with everything. This cat's empty, by the way. He sees the 47. Yeah. He's like, crap. I, I still have this wicked two point, the 28 and the 47. What a sick position. What a sick game of year for Vance. It's a nine cap. That's fine. Lose a 17. Total corner's empty. Cap's empty. Cap's empty. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Where's this Ford if I don't know? Don't know. Don't care. We're going to set up a card block, though. And... What, this... Come off here. Be fine. I did the wrong way. I, 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 fuck. I split the 15 and then I attacked off instead of using the 15 because of the time. It's fine. If he has a trade, I'm in trouble. He doesn't have to trade on three, though. Oh. We got the card block. If it holds, it's game. I mean, it should be game anyways. Even if it doesn't hold, what's he going to do? Break all my bonuses and I can get my fortifies back up. I can fix the problem I made. I ran out of time. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm stressed, bro. I'm trying to bring you the best risk content I possibly can. Good game. Good game. Uh, even with errors, we will pull out the W. Pretty cool. Pretty cool game. Good game. It was fun playing with you, man. Good game. I'm glad we were friends in the Orient the whole time. Boom, boom, boom. Do you fortify off cap? He does. Wicked. I screwed up my bad thing. Whatever, it's fine. Good game. Well played. Taste it, we'll take it. Beautiful game of Europe Advanced Capitals. Playing from the Russia position, getting that sick two point killing pink, guarding the pink kill when it mattered. It would have been better if I blitzed the three on one to give him an easy card. I didn't think he was actually gonna try to take a fourth card and give it to me if he uh, got slammed. But I, I read that blue was gonna go for his kill and I, I read that, it was sick. Reading the fog is so good. Blue is a novice. I thought he played pretty well for it. Red was a master. Tasted it from blue. blue novice. Destroyed red master. Purple master. Pink expert. Thank you for joining until the end of the video. New risk videos every single day on my channel. If you haven't watched every game in the last two months, go watch more. They're worth it. I'll catch you in the next one.